Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. All right, let's check in with Tyler, who joins us now from home. I feel like we should be talking about May right now, but uh, no, here we are late March. Yeah, it looks like it. Sometimes it feels like it. And we've got this beautiful picture from Lone Rock Point of the ice that's still left on some of the rocks, but then the clear water, the blue sky, just a stunner of a picture there, stunner of a day again today for, um, I've uh, lost count, I think, how many nice ones we've had in a row, but we'll have another one tomorrow as well. This is our Plattsburgh camera zoomed out just a bit so you can see Mount Mansfield and the surrounding mountains. A little haze actually out there, so the impact of this weather over over time is starting to show. It's 52 in Plattsburgh. The wind is southeast at 11. So on the weather headlines, we have one more sunny, calm day tomorrow. Now, the warmth still continues for Wednesday and Thursday. It's just a lot less bright. I think Wednesday actually ends up mostly cloudy. But the warmest day we're still thinking will be Thursday. So right now, it's 62 in Burlington. St. Albans at 60. Same deal in Enosburg. There are 50s on the map, too, especially in Washington County there along Cabot, uh, Route 2, 56 there. Waitsfield is 58. And Lebanon is still uh, struggling a little bit at 52. But we have the sunshine, and most of us uh, will be in the 60s by this uh, afternoon later on. And the clouds that you see there out to the west, those are starting to get closer, but they are moving very slowly. So that gives us the sun on Futurecast here all the way through the rest of this Monday. And as we go into Tuesday that you'll see here. Now, the reason Wednesday turns cloudy is we really start to see a push of warmer air aloft. So there's also a potential for a sprinkle on Wednesday. We've really sped up the timeline on that. So I think by the afternoon and evening hours Wednesday, a couple of raindrops possible. Not going to ruin things, but it's not the blue sky we have right now. And then by Thursday... If we're lucky, that front just pushes north of us. We break back out into the sun, but the warm air is still with us. So we're thinking that 70 potential is definitely Thursday. And it would probably be dry most of Thursday before Friday, which brings in a big change. We have a storm that comes through with rain and a potential switch to snow on the back end of that Friday system. So the lows tonight in the 30s in the Champlain Valley, 20s in the outlying spots, Tomorrow is basically a copy of today, temperatures and with the amount of sunshine. Thinking a high again tomorrow around 66, Milton at 64, the Tri Lakes in the upper 50s, and for southern Vermont, 62 in Plymouth. So here's the five day forecast showing the increasing clouds, the breeze, the sprinkle potential on Wednesday. Thursday now looking mostly dry, but that should be the warmest day of the stretch, right about 70 with some. Sun breaking back through the clouds, and then the rain uh, brings an end to this warm spell on Friday. The upcoming weekend looks like it starts dry before the chance for some rain and snow on Sunday. Tom? Tyler, thanks so much. Spring